there, Brandon Spilly here from thirstgym.com, and today we're talking about exercises called the side plank cable row. Okay, this is a good combination-based exercise. It's gonna really focus more on the abdominals while we're also getting some rowing. So we're going to make sure that this isn't really after necessarily the back hypertrophy. This is more a full body integration-based exercise, really focusing more on the abdominals and the midsection than anything else. We're just gonna perform some rowing while we do it. So just make sure if you're trying to build a massive back, probably not the exercise, but if you are looking to build some quality trunk control, this is gonna be a good exercise. And so what I'm gonna do here, I got my Airx pad, and a cable machine down in a relatively low position around knee height, give or take, is probably okay. Just like the name implies, we're gonna get in a side plank position. I'm gonna grab this cable with my top arm. And then from this side plank based position here, I'm gonna make sure my arm stays long. I've got my hand here on the Airx pad just for comfort's sake. But I wanna make sure that I stay in a nice, solid side plank position. So I wanna make sure that my butt is up towards the ceiling. I'm not letting it hang down here. I'm owning that position. I can feel my left obliques or my downside abs working hard. And I'm gonna row that cable towards my chest. And so what I wanna do is make sure that my belly button stays pointed towards that cable machine as I'm doing this. And as I'm doing this rowing, it's trying to pull me. So I'm getting some anti-rotation work here as well, which is what make this a great abdominal exercise. And so I'm gonna do my rep and then I would switch sides. Now, again, give us enough, get long, control your abdominals. Again, not necessarily chasing the most amount of weight that you possibly can, but using your abdominals to stay nice and rigid, getting a full body training effect from this. Obviously, then you're gonna do both sides. I like this for three to four sets, about eight to 12 reps on each side really owning and controlling each position. You can certainly push the reps a little bit more if you wanted to, but again, I just like to make sure that I'm owning the position more so than anything else. So uh, use this as a way to integrate some fun and some variety to your abdominal base work, while you're still also getting the scapula moving around the rib cage, and there's some good quality benefits there as well. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.